Welcome back to another episode of Troubleshooting with Ernie the RV Guy, where our favorite master certified RV technician uses his 35 years of RV experience to show you how to fix your RV so you can get back to having fun. So what do you say, Ernie? Let's get the fixing started. Like a lot of devoted RVers, Ernie's not afraid to celebrate the 5 o'clock hour with his favorite beverage. So here he is, loading up a cup of instant tea in the old Mississippi speed cooker, which most of us call a microwave, when all of a sudden, he hears strange grinding noises. Suspicious as he may be, Ernie's a bottle half full kind of guy, so he boldly takes a brave sip of tea and realizes it's awful. In fact, it's worse than awful, it's room temperature. Now, Ernie's not about to go crying in his Earl Grey, because he knows that come 5 o'clock at popular campgrounds, a lot of RVs are using their appliances, which can cause a campground to suffer a minor brownout, which means your coach is not receiving the proper voltage needed to run an appliance like your microwave. So today, Ernie's going to show you how to use a voltmeter to see how many volts your coach is receiving from either shore power or your generator. The first thing Ernie's going to do is turn the voltmeter's dial to volts. This will activate the meter and put it in a mode that reads voltage. Next, he's going to push the select button until he sees AC on the screen, meaning that the meter is set to read alternating current. 110 volt alternating current is what homes in the US are powered by, and it's what runs appliances in your RV like your refrigerator and your microwave. Next, he's going to find an outlet in his RV. It doesn't have to be the outlet his microwave is plugged into, any outlet will do. Ernie's going to place the black lead, which is our ground, into the neutral circuit, which is the longer hole on the outlet. Then he's going to place the red lead, which is our positive lead, into the other hole. Now don't worry if you get these backwards. Ernie promises you won't get electrocuted or shocked. Now we have our leads plugged into an outlet, and we're ready to take a reading on our voltmeter. Looks like Ernie has about 90 volts running to his coach when he should have at least one tenth. 90 volts is not enough for the microwave to heat a cup of tea, which is why Ernie heard the strange grinding noises. The microwave just wasn't receiving enough voltage to do its job. A minute ago, we thought the campground might be suffering from a brownout. So what Ernie's going to do is take his RV off shore power and fire up his generator and let it run for a few minutes. Now, he's going to take another reading on his voltmeter. And as they say in fancy places that don't let you throw peanut shells on the floor, Voila! Our coach is now receiving the proper voltage to run a microwave, and Ernie can finally have his afternoon tea. So now you know how to use a voltmeter to read how much voltage your RV is receiving. Just remember to always consult your manual or a certified technician before attempting to fix your RV. And join us next week when Ernie switches to decaf tea. Just kidding, Ernie.